this is a truly hilarious story, honestly. Uh, you guys know who Diamond and Silk is. They're basically uh, Candace Owens, you know, plus one, however you want to do that math. Um, there are two black women who are Trump supporters who everything they do hinges on the fact that, hey, I support Trump and I'm black. You know, that's what everything is based on. Um, and they're just simply not too bright. And this is going to be proof of this. So there was a documentary made. I think it was called Sundance. I'm not sure. But it was made on a, a bunch of Justice Democrats. It was four Justice Democrats. I think it was Cory Bush, AOC, Ilhan Omar, and I can't remember the fourth one. But uh, it was this documentary made about, about them. And Netflix purchased it for $10 million. That's a big... Uh, a big amount that they shelled out for this, so it really means that there's a lot of value for that. And Ben Shapiro was crying about it like a little baby. But here's what Diamond and Silk said. This is really hilarious. They said, Netflix just bought AOC documentary for $10 million. We call this a bought and paid for politician. Hope she pays the government 70% of her earnings and any money that's left, she can give that to her Green New Deal, which is a disastrous old deal out of a dictator's playbook. So obviously this tweet makes no, there's no coherency. There's no <laughs> coherent content in this tweet because it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Literally nothing in this tweet makes any sense. It's crazy. So first of all, the documentary wasn't made by AOC. It was about AOC. She's not making any money from, from this sale of this documentary to Netflix. She's not profiting any, she's not making any money from this. This isn't a, a documentary made by AOC. It's a documentary about AOC. <laughs> they think, and this is just slander, dude. Like, this is legitimate slander because you're talking about you are, and I mean, maybe they're, maybe they did this on purpose because they don't specifically state she got paid this, but it, it's obviously implied directly. But this is just slander. I mean, she didn't, she didn't get paid anything for this. She didn't make the documentary. She's not gaining any profit. Secondly, hope you know, she says, hope she pays the government 70% of her earnings. Doofus. It's 70% on earnings over $10 million. So if she made $10 million, she wouldn't be paying 70% because she wouldn't make that threshold. If anything, this is something that works against them. Because think about it like this. She would have made $10 million, you know, in a full lump sum like that, okay? It would have been a full lump sum of $10 million, and she still would not be taxed at 70%. That, you just made one of the best arguments possible, because it goes to show, damn, you really have to make a lot of money to uh, be taxed at that 70% rate of over $10 million. You really got to bring in that cash, okay? You just made a great argument for us and the people who are advocating for this tax rate. Um, and, of course, the Green New Deal, which is disastrous, disastrous old deal out of a dictator's playbook. I mean, come on, dude. Do I really have to even respond to that? I don't even know what that means. An old deal out of a dictator's playbook? Where did the dictator come in to this? What is this, some totalitarian plan of, like, a command economy? What is this, Stalin's, you know, five-year command economy plan? Fuck no, dude. It's like, it, it's not even law. If it was passed, it's a non-binding resolution. It's just the House announcing that, hey, we support this. It doesn't do anything in terms of, like, law. And I don't even think they know that it's a non-binding resolution. But where does the dictatorship come in? I don't understand. Like, you're talking about... Hey, we want to make better high-speed rail systems in the United States like they have in other other countries so that flying is not a necessity. By the way, doofuses who are trying to smear, saying that flight is not necessary is not the same as no flying whatsoever. And I hate how people are just smearing that. The whole point is right now, the only option you really have, the realistic option you really have is flying. But what they want to do is go... Yo, we can make an alternative so that you don't have to fly and you can go train. And this is something that people in the U.S. have talked about all the time. We don't have, you know, legitimate high-speed train systems like they do in other countries. So, it, it just, none of it makes sense, man. I mean, I would say my brain hurts, but it doesn't because I just laugh at this. I mean, this is something you just read and just debunk off the fly. You don't even need to, like, look anything up.